Praise the Lord. And Kiolana, everybody. First of all, I give honor to God for he is the head of my life. I give honor to God for our bishop to the Pele and Mother Patricia and Pele, they are absent. I give honor to God for our beautiful saints tonight. Give honor to God for our families, friends watching our live stream tonight. Kiolana. John 14, 6 says, Jesus says unto him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Saints, Jesus proclaimed that he is the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Jesus. Amen? In other words, there are no options on the roads to eternal life. There is only one way, and Jesus is the way. Amen, saints? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we come before your holy throne of grace with our hearts of thanksgiving. We proclaim that you are the Lord of Lords, King of Kings, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. There is no one like you, Jesus. We confess our sins before thee. Please forgive us and clean us with your precious blood in Jesus' name. Siswe Mufaka <laughs> Mate aka me taki tonala. Bye bye mai te imene. Aka me taki e aka papa amato ya koe. E aka me taki tona ingoa. E me taki aki asu no tona aloa. Katu e luma e tanala. Tu o tu amau. Kite ya la uki. Kite ya la uki. Yesu e alo amai amato. Aka kole mai o tomato wala. Pole atu e ne yau ya koe. Amen. Saints, let us sing this beautiful song, Waymaker. Jesus is our Waymaker, our miracle workers, our promise keeper. Amen.
You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop. You never stop. Savior Jesus Christ. This evening we welcome our viewers on live stream and to the saints of the Most High God who are gathered here tonight to worship, sing praises, and to give thanks unto His name. We honor the Lord for the great leaders of our nation and to all the people of the Cook Islands. We convey the love of our dear Bishop and Mama Pere who are currently in New Zealand right now. To all our friends and families, if you are joining us on live stream for the very first time, we welcome you in Jesus' name. May you all be blessed tonight through singing, dancing, testimonies, and the, preached, and the word that will be preached later on this evening. Welcome into the house of the Lord. Te karanga nei te tata salamo, ko te uti i te aura, ki a kapapa ana ke ia, ia ia ova, hallelujah. Te oranga atu nei au i te aroa, ka arabe i anga, i a koto ka toto, me koma i to tato episkopotu tai pere, e to tato mama orumetua, Patricia and pere, e te e kales i a ka totoa. Ki orana ki to runga i te matapuka, te pia tutu, e te matamarewa. Te ao arataki o te pāsilea i roto i ngā tuanga e toru 
et e ti tangata ko ki airani te mama e te vai tata ki a kaka ki a tei tei e ki a mai va tato i roto i a Jesu amen e hallelujah at this time it gives me great pleasure to invite our dear elder Twine Manuela to lead us into our testimony this evening to God be the glory hallelujah amen e Praise the Lord, saints. Uh, well, it's testimony time. Um, if you have anything that you would like to share with each and every one of us in our live stream, please come to the front uh, while we're waiting for you to line up. Can we have a song, please? You turn my weakness into worship. You turn my pressure into prayer. You turn my morning into dancing. And I will bless your holy name. You turn my weakness into worship. You turn my pressure into prayer. You turn my morning into dancing. And I will bless your holy name. Oh, 
you, Jesus. Am I on? Hello, hello. No, not where. Pray the Lord, saints. Thank the Lord for he's the head of all our lives. Thank the Lord for bringing us to church this evening. I thank the Lord for his blessings, his abundant blessings upon each and every one of us. I thank the Lord yeah, for our families and our loved ones who are protected under his blood. I thank the Lord for his uh, provision. Um, I thank the Lord for all his goodness. I'd like to thank the Lord for the catering, uh, most especially um, when we have, um, when we do service and the clients don't have the foils to take the food home, to take the rest of the food, we have to bring it back to church and sort that out. But I thank the Lord most especially because um, when we do bring the food, there are people out there who are hungry and we are able to also feed um, through the catering. And I thank the Lord for that blessing that the food doesn't go to complete waste, but the food also feeds the hungry. I thank the Lord for his bounties of blessings in Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord, saints. The joy of the Lord is my strength. I can't give that joy to you. You give it to Jesus, eh? Praise the Lord. I honor the Lord that is such an awesome God. I thank the Lord for this beautiful day that he has given us. I thank the Lord for the, the dynamic opening of our service today with the welcome of the Holy Spirit. I've been waiting for this. When will somebody acknowledge the presence of the Holy Spirit upon our altar? And it happened today. I thank the Lord for <coughs> Elder Pokoina Mariharai who brought this out. And I was, my ears was really listening to what she was saying. A powerful, a powerful prayer this morning. And also right through the service, the dynamic preaching of these three elders. I say, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. I want to thank the Lord for the blessings of the week. Sometimes I say to myself, too much to do, but God always comes into my plans to make things easier and shorter for me. I want to thank the Lord for my grandson, Michael, who is still at home, helping me around the home. I just praise God that God has given me an amazing grandson to help out at home. I want to say thank you, Jesus. I want to thank the Lord for the praise team here. The praise team can give you your joy. The Holy Spirit will give you joy, and you have to do something about that. Praise the Lord, saints. I want to thank the Lord for the word of God, which is an enlightenment to all of us. I want to thank the Lord for the provisions that he provides for us. I want to thank the Lord for the chestnut at this time. It still is going. Kanaka is still on. I say, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to thank the Lord also for my sister, for the transport that we go here and there. I want to thank the Lord for the time. The area to get the money, the other of the family. I want to say thank you, Jesus. I want to say I love you all in Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. Amen. President, that's what I do. Now, what I do is I say, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the The Bible says in Psalm 68, I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. I thank the Lord for watching over me, uh, my beautiful daughter, my beautiful mom, my beautiful wife who is in New Zealand. For, since the day we were born to this day, and only you alone know how much more. I thank him for the breath of life that we breathe freely without cost. If we were to put a price on it, I think I'd be good. So I thank the Lord for his goodness, his mercy, his grace, and his forgiveness upon us. I thank the Lord today. We had a, a lunch today with the family. Uh, I think the last time... Uh, there was a lunch like that. Maybe it was on Mama's 80th birthday from as far as I can remember. I wasn't here, but I thank the Lord for this time. She's 92. This year, I'm here. and She's still alive. She's still kicking. And I thank the Lord for that. I thank the Lord for his word. I thank you for his Holy Spirit. I want to give God all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise all saints. First of all, I give honor to God. He's the of our life. I thank him because I'm still alive today. I thank him for this opportunity. I can lead the service this, this evening. And I thank God for the many blessings he blessing me with. I thank God I still have a job in Cook Island. And I thank God I still have a place to stay. I thank God for the many blessings he provides he provide for me, the finance, the transport. And I thank God for giving me the strength to do my work, whatever I have to do at work. And I thank God for everything. Praise the Lord.
Praise the Lord, saints. First of all, I give honor to God for He's the head of my life. I give honor to God for watching on me and my wife and our two children at home. And I thank God for the strength He has given me each day of my life. I thank God for His blood. I thank God for the beautiful day that He blessed us. And I thank God all this time, the rain, He blessed us with water so that we don't get short of water. But I thank God for our caretaker watching us this time as a uh, absent of our bishop. I thank God for everyone who came to church tonight. Amen. When the praises of God are going up, when the praises of God are going up, all the blessings come down. だがめてきにおいてとのてみやとみてけや。だがめてきにおいてとのてみやてきにおいてとのてみやてきにおいてとのてみやてきにおいてとのてみやてきにおいてとのてみやてきにおいてとのてみやてきにおいてとのてみや
Too bad you got the group got the season folks, but Chamato Jataki Tumu, the season folks. Praise the Lord, the wisdom. So tonight you're gonna hear them preaching tonight. Praise the Lord, saints. So I just wanna thank God, praise the Lord, for my apartment to us in Taki Tumu. And I just wanna thank God, praise the Lord, because God is alive in my life today. And I just wanna thank God, praise the Lord, for everything that bless us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, Saint. Um, Nelson Mandela says he speaks to a man who understands a language who will go to his head. If you speak to a man in his own language, he goes to his heart. So, Tuto Mario. Praise the Lord, Saint. I uh, give honor to God, he's head of my life, he's head of our lives. Give honor to God for Bishop Pere, Mother Pere, first family, and all the saints of God. Praise the Lord. Me taking you there doing all the meg work. Poor young with the rule, but tomorrow they make young. And I thank God. I really thank God. Because how many times the doctor said to me, "I'll take you to the hospital. I'll admit you. I'll admit." I said, "No, no, 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 no. I'm all right. I tell you when I'm not right, I'll come on to the hospital." So it was a good doctor. He listened to me. So, uh, yeah. so uh, it's been on and off, on and off. The night of my uh, celebrating my birthday, about 10 to 5, I was still on the drip finishing my uh, uh, IV fluid. And uh, I said to my granddaughter, any phone call from home? She said, no. Ah, surely they'll have to find out there whether I'm coming home or I'm going to the hospital. But anyway, thank God I, we went home. And, uh, you know, went through the night with no problem until the next morning. I'd have to go to, to see the doctor. And the agreement that he said, when you finish, come up, the, come up to the hospital. I said, no, this is not a drinking party. Just meeting the friends, meeting the families, and meeting all those who were invited to the birthday. And even up to yesterday, still feeling, feeling, not feeling well, a um, bit dizzy. So I was uh, in, uh, going into the, uh, my transport to drive to Uka, but I wasn't feeling well. In the same time, the phone rang, so I went inside. It was my son, Stephen, said, Dad, are you all right? I said, I'm all right. I'm just in the Jeep heading to Uka. He said, do you want me to pick you up? I said, uh, if you have time, yeah, I would uh, appreciate it. You know, I, that's God's intervention. I don't know what happened if I'd driven to the, to the doctor whether I could make it there or not because I was really dizzy. So now, thank God for Uka. Thank God for Uka. He found out his ear, that's what's causing the imbalance. So I, I took my tablet one yesterday, the first time. I didn't take a second one because I was all right. Until today, I had to rush off after the service to take my tablet. And because he said, if you take it, you feel drowsy, so I took one tonight before I came. So if I fall half asleep, if I'm half asleep, you understand it's my tablets. So anyway, I thank God. He, you know, he was good to me, good to my family, good to all of us. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, Saint. Praise the Lord. I thank and honor the Lord. He's the head of my life, my husband, and all of the saints of the most high God. I thank the Lord for taking our bishop and our mama safely to New Zealand and for being with them always. I thank the Lord for still talking to my children in Australia, my grandchildren and my family. I thank the Lord for having lunch with our dear Auntie Tuono, Sister Tutai, and the son and the grandchildren. I thank the Lord for, for the beautiful of, uh, flowers of the altar. And I thank the Lord for our beautiful uh, uh, morning service and evening service. We love you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. The psalmist declares in Psalms 133, Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren 
to dwell together in unity. I want to praise God. I want to honor God because he is such an awesome God to me. I want to praise God for the life of our dear bishop, our dear mama, and also our caretaker. I also want to thank God. You know, I have, I have great bosses that I work for. I want to praise God. I want to thank God for Stephen Matapu, his beautiful wife, Tina, and the family. Because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be in Mauke. So I want to thank God for God is certainly using them um, to help not just us, but the people of Akatoko Manawa. They're so blessed, and I want to thank God for that. I also want to thank God for the many prayer saints. So if you don't see me here next week, you know Auntie Nan's gone back to homeland. Like they say, there is no place like home. So I appreciate you all for the prayers. I appreciate, you know, fellowshipping with the people of God. You know, when you're out there all by yourself, but not really, you're not out there by yourself because Jesus is always there. And when you come home, it's like, oh, feed me, feed me. I mean, I see some of us are just sitting down like, let's just enjoy the benefit. People, there are people out there dying with no Jesus. But I want to thank God, you know, for this faith. I want to thank God for your many prayers, for your beautiful smiles. But I want to thank God, you know, for seeing everybody here. I want to um, thank God for the beautiful, beautiful service that I've had since I've been here. I also want to thank God for my beautiful home group that I went to visit on Tuesday. Thank you, Lord, for my dear mama and also our Nina still holding on to Jesus. And what I'm most grateful, though, is actually our seasoned folks. You know, they're turning 90, they're turning 80, and I don't know whether the hearing and uh, the whatever comes with it, but I want to glorify God because without them, we won't be here. So I want to thank Jesus through this song. One day at a time, sweet Jesus, that's all I'm asking from you. Just give me the strength to do every day what I have to do. Yesterday's gone, sweet Jesus, and tomorrow may never be mine. Lord, help me today, show me the way one day at a time. One day at a time, sweet Jesus, that's all I'm asking from you. Just give me the strength to do every day what I have to do. Show me the way one day at a time. Lord, help me today. Show me the way day at a time. Um, yes, I've got a testimony to, to share also today. Um, I'm sure you all realise that I wasn't in church for a, a few Sundays. So I went um, to New Zealand during the school holidays. I always um, take notice of Bishop when he says, go and see your loved ones while they're still alive today. Don't waste your time when they're dead. So I thought, oh, I'm doing it. My son is, uh, is on school holiday and he can help Papa with the shop. So I got myself um, a ticket and I went, I was going from Auckland to Christchurch. Um, when I get to Auckland, I got a five hour layover until my next plane to Christchurch. Lo and behold, the Lord, <laughs> he's such an awesome God. 
my dear brother Emil and my dear sister Ngāriki were also on that flight. And uh, when they found out that I got a five-hour layover, they said, you're not going to sit in that, um, in that uh, airport for five hours. Come with us, have a good night's sleep, and then you go catch your plane. So I thank the Lord for, for that dear brother and sister, that kindness that they showed me. And, you know, I felt safe too. I felt very safe. So I got myself down to Christchurch. I thank God and uh, praise the Lord that uh, my birth mother, who's 82, is uh, in really good condition. She still looks after herself and her little dog. Uh, runs her house all by herself and can still drive around. So I thank the Lord for that. Um, I thank the Lord also. You know, I was thinking, oh, I wish I could uh, go down to Ashburton and meet, the, you know, the Perez down there because it's only an hour or so drive away. But um, anyway, I was in Kmart looking around and lo and behold, I saw Mother Tanya. Oh, no, I thought, thank you, Jesus. So I met Mother Tanya, Rebecca, and you know what? The Ta'iris were over there too. <laughs> I said, of all places to meet, you know, our own church members. So I, I managed to meet them and uh, Baba Uri and um, the Samoan brother. I keep forgetting his name, Rebecca's husband. But, you know, glory to God for that meeting. Um, I also thank uh, the Lord for me being in Christchurch with my birth mother at that time because we had some terrible news uh, with our family. Um, my brother, one of my brothers, his daughter committed suicide and um, my birth mother um, brought those kids up when they were little. So I thank the Lord that I was there uh, to be with her to receive that news because it really shook her up and um, to say a prayer uh, for, for the family, and um, they had to go to Australia too because that's where she was. So I thank the Lord for that uh, opportunity. I also thank the Lord um, for taking me back safely up to Auckland to spend a couple of days with my, my own uh, brother, my youngest brother, to share the word with him and um, to leave him with some scriptures to hopefully he'll go back and look at them. And um, I'm going to follow up with him on that too. Uh, I thank the Lord for the good weather I had over there. It wasn't cold. You know, he, the Lord really looked after me well. I thank him for his traveling mercies to get me back home safe and sound. Even though I got back home the very next day, our computer at work just crashed and burned. But don't panic, we just go back to old school. Thank goodness we, this thing up here is still working well. <laughs> and we just wait for the expert when they get over here and they can do what they do. But I thank you, Lord, for you know um, having that spirit of not panicking. Back in the day, oh, I would have been making myself sick upside down, round and round, trying to figure out what to do. But what can be done? nothing. So we just carry on the best as we can. So I thank the Lord, you know, when that happened, I thought of our Sunday school thought to remember, let your faith be bigger than your fear. So thank you, Jesus. You're in control of everything. Hallelujah. Um, would our caretaker elders Want to say any? No? All good? Well, that's us. That's a wrap for tonight's testimony. Thank you very much. Praise our saints. It's Titan Offering Time, led by Elder Elena Tour. Praise the Lord, saints. It's Titan Offering. It's that we bring ourselves closer to Him. When we give Jesus, when we give, Jesus says in Matthew 6, 21, For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Given tithe and offering, put our love for God before our worldly wealth and show that our heart is old with him. Amen. Please come in. Bring all your tithe and offering to bless this ministry. Amen.
Father, we thank you for your goodness in our lives. We thank you that you are our strength and joy. Everything we have belongs to you. Bless our title and offering to support your ministry. I pray to continue to bless us in our places of work, plantation, patient, wherever we get our earnings from. Open the windows of heaven and pour our showers of blessings upon your people. We love you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the countless blessings poured out upon us each day. Thank you for the gift of life and the breath in our lungs. Thank you for the love of family and friends. We are grateful for the provisions of food on our tables, the shelter of our heads, and the clothes on our backs. Thank you for meeting our needs and for your constant care and protection. We give thanks for the beauty of creation that surround us, the majestic mountains, the vast ocean, and the vibrant colors of the changing seasons. Help us to be good steward of the earth you have entrusted to our care. Most of all, we thank you for the gift of your son, Jesus Christ, who came to save us and reconcile us to you. Thank you for your con unconditional love and grace that knows no bounds. As we continue on life's journey, may we always have grateful hearts, ready to acknowledge and give thanks for your abundant blessings. Hallelujah, Father God, the omniscient, the omnipotent, the omnipresent God. We come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace and help in time of need. Lord Jesus, we intercede for the three pillars of our nation, preachers of the gospel of different denominations, the Uyarikis, our government who uphold and make the decision for our tiny nation, our world leaders, our health department, the doctors and nurses who work tirelessly, those who care for our citizen folks and disabilities, our police force, our education department and students who will be decision makers in the future, those who have lost their loved ones here in the Cook Islands and those in New Zealand and Australia, our families that are overseas, our live stream viewers that are worshipping with us this evening, our entire SPDC churches, our Bishop Pere and Mama who is in New Zealand for their checkup, and all those who are referred to New Zealand for medical reasons, our missionaries in Samoa, Fiji, PNG, Tahiti, Tuvalu, New Zealand, and Australia, and wherever this gospel is preached, not forgetting our mother prize and the church in San Jose. 
We pray for your deliverance, your healing, your comforting, your prosperity, your blessings, new souls. We bring our prayer, our petition to you. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hearken unto our prayers and hear our humble requests. Let thy will be done. In Jesus' name I pray. All of God's people say. Amen. Our church notices lead by Elder Tata Ellen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tato Katoto. Firstly, our fortnight prison ministry. That's next week, the 8th of May. Wednesday, the 8th of May. Waka Aburua will take care of this. Apostles James, Matthew, and Mark. Please take Jesus' blessings with you. The home group to clean our church next Saturday will be the Waka Nika O Puekura. That's Apostles Andrew and John and Deacon Stephen. So group to decorate our church then will be Apostle Paul home group. Now catering notices, we have uh, two caterings next week. One is tomorrow. Now that's on the loop. And the preparation for tomorrow starts after service tonight. So let's support the catering team, amen. Uh, if you haven't got your change and you're not far to live, you can always go home, get change, come back. Hallelujah. Nah, let's give a hand of praise because, because tomorrow, I know most of us will not be here. So please, tonight, or on my team, praise the Lord, Tato. Continue upholding our dear bishop in our dear mama in our, in our prayers and uh, not forgetting our caretakers, the kindness. Tato, Tato, Nuji, Deya, Kia, Kamete, Kia, Deya, Tua. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Let's ask our uh, praise team to sing us a song while our two preachers make your way up to the front. A minute. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory.
Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Tell you, when I went home to prepare my message, because I had to take my pills, so I struggled. I struggled. So if I didn't finish it, we'll leave it for another month. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> my text is taken from the book of Psalm. Psalm 145, verses 8 to 20. I have um, based my message tonight on verse 20. It reads, The Lord watches over all who love him. And the theme tonight is when love never ends. When love never ends. Me kore the inangaro emut. Me kore the inangaro emut. My granddaughter was telling a story about her grandfather. Every time they go to the beach, he always took off his watch and put it away. One day she asked him why. The grandfather smiled and replied, because I want you to know how important my, move, my moments with you are to me. I just want to be with you and let time go by. A, a friend of the granddaughter share that recollection at her grandfather's funeral. It was one of her favorite memories of their life together. As a reflection on how valued it makes us feel when others take time for us. It brought to, it brought to mind the scriptures, words on God's loving care. God always makes time for us. David prayed in Psalm 145, you open your hand and satisfy the needs of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and faithful in all he does. The Lord is near, verses 16 and 18. God's goodness and thoughtful attention sustain our lives each moment, providing us air to breathe and food to eat. Because he is rich in love, God's love is so deep and unending that in his kindness and mercy, he's even opened the way to eternal life and joy in his presence, as if to say, I love you so much. I just want to be with you forever and let time go by. Proverbs 8, 7 reads, Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the flood drown it. When love never ends, the Lord watches over all who love him. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Our second preacher, Deacon Walter Malalai. Praise the Lord, saints. Give me J. E. S. U. S. What you got? Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. We are all here for Jesus. Uh, my text, I go straight to my brief message. My text for tonight is found in John 3, 7. It's a very familiar text to us all. It says, marvel not that 
I say unto thee, he must be born again. Ya kala ngane ru tito ta tu leu Maori, e ya koe e poichi le le u, o i kala nga tu ki ya koe e ki ana u oko koe e tika. Hallelujah. My theme for tonight is the message has not changed. We may we may question what message. People of God, Jesus said, marvel not that I say unto thee, you must be born again. From Jesus' days to our days today, that message has not changed. As we all know, the story of Nicodemus the religious leader who came to Jesus by night. Their conversation was about eternal life. Their discussion were how to get to the kingdom of God. Jesus said, except a man be born, of, be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. But Nicodemus replied, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter into his mother's womb a second time and be born? And Jesus again said, and said except a man be born of the water and of the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Jesus led him to understand that he need to be reborn spiritually. Where Peter proclaimed in Acts 2.38, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you and to your children, and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Our theme, the same message has not changed. Jesus, Jesus explained, we cannot control the work of the Holy Spirit. The work is, he, he works in, way, in, in ways cannot understand. Just as we cannot control our birth, our physical birth, so we cannot control our spiritual birth. For it is a gift from, it is a gift from God through the Holy Spirit. There are three steps to heaven. Step one, repent. Step two, baptize in Jesus' name for the remission of sins. Step three, be filled with the Holy Ghost. It is a must. We must be born again. Unless we are born again, we can never be part of the kingdom. God is able to change anyone. We might think we cannot reach to them. God is always patient and persistent. Praise the Lord, saints. Our team says the message has not changed. The promise is for us, for our, for our children, and to everyone whom the Lord shall call. We have no choice. It's a must. It, it's a must. Done deal. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Let us clap a hand for our two beautiful preacher for tonight. Before we close our service tonight, 
I give this time to our caretaker to address us. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Uh, we have a message from our dear bishop that was supposed to be read this morning, but it came through after service, so I'm going to read it anyway. Hallelujah. But otherwise, saints, let's give a hand of praise to God for our dynamic preachers tonight. Hallelujah. And the message reads, praise the Lord and Kiorana, saints of the Most High God, in Jesus' name. Mama Pere and I send sincere greetings and welcome to all our beloved guests and visitors in church today, but most especially to our Benson and Ruporo family holding a very special family celebration on the island and perhaps extra special vacation on the Rarotonga at this time. We are sorry that we are not with you at this time, but we certainly shall be home tomorrow and hope to catch up with you all. If Grandpa doesn't mind, he's referring to Deacon Pa. He has a very famous saying, every man for himself, and time is money. So no one has to be really smart to try and fit in with his time schedules. Otherwise, best way to beat him at his game is to throw it right back at him. Hey, Pa. Well, Deacon Pa is not in church tonight. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hopefully he's watching on live stream to hear Bishop's uh, message. <laughs> Hallelujah. Otherwise, God bless you all. Kakite, Lord's will, when we meet. Love, Bishop and Mama Pere. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's give Jesus one more hand of praise for all of us tonight. Let us all be upstanding as we close us for tonight. We thank the Lord for our dear Bishop and also our dear Mama. I know they're on our live stream tonight watching. Praise the Lord, Bishop and Mama. And to all the saints of the Most High God and also our family and friends on our live stream. Thank you for joining us tonight and also today in our morning service. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for the home group that decorate the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. And also our home group that clean the outside and also at the back. At the back. So we truly thank the Lord. No, Tato, the mother. So appreciate the Lord for all of us. And also please uphold our catering ministry uh, this coming week. Uh, to God be the glory. Praise God. And also once again, good to see our Auntie Tuono with us tonight. And uh, Sister Tutai and Alta Po. Uh, in the house of the Lord. Tato kato toa, to tato o metua, te maru eroi, wo te a mai te po, rato te ito e tuki te ngutuane, ki a tako tai e te aro, a te atua no tato kato toa. Uphold our dear bishop and our dear mama in our prayers and all of us. Amen. So we're going to sing this song before we finish for the night. Tata ki ngato evangelia, ki runga. Hallelujah. Thank you, praise him. Bye.
Let's give Jesus a hand of praise for all the men leading our service tonight. Hallelujah. And God bless you all. Amen. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we come to the end of our beautiful service tonight. Lord Jesus, as we leave this place, guide us so that we can reach our destiny, destiny safely in your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. And all God people sing. Amen, 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 amen. It is so. It is so. Keep thee, the Lord make his face to shine upon thee and give thee peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And everybody sing. Yes, and amen. Everybody say. Yes, and amen. Everybody say. Yes, and amen. It is so. you all. Amen.